second one, right? Um, well, well, here, before yeah, yeah. we get into of course, of into course. the nitty gritty of yeah, the film, yeah, yeah, I yeah. did want to say one thing. Let's do it. Before, or I wanted to talk about one thing okay. that is completely different. Okay. It, it's going to be its own discussion. Let's do it. Uh, <laughs> it's like a mini, it's actually like a, probably a mini podcast okay. within the podcast. Let's do it. And you're not, I'm I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm, you're going to be ready for this one. I'm always down. <laughs> it's, I, it is. I don't know if it's today as of recording or within okay. it. I think it is within this week, the 40th anniversary of Ooh. the Karate Kid. For Daniel LaRusso. Is this the only pool you guys got? The future seemed far from terrific. This place is a dump. You should go back to New Jersey. Hey, I know it's hard, but we're not quitters, are we? Until Hi. he met the hey, right I girl. She's beautiful. I say she's beautiful. I think she's beautiful. Oh what? Yeah, yeah. and I, I wanted the Karate Kid to be its own long podcast, but it, oh the, you know I, we can fit two in one pretty Let's much. Do it, and yeah. I I just wanted to talk like near down a little bit, okay? Because I love that film. Yeah, yeah that me film too. Is fucking, it's kind of yeah. like the inverse of The Godfather yeah. almost. <laughs> it's like I, it's not not about like uh, rising up to be the the villain. It's rising up to I be was the Johnny, hero. Dude. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> so, so you subscribe to that? What you used to be a theory, but is now canon of it's Johnny's story. I, you know, what's so funny is that I thought that as a kid, I didn't even yeah. know that as a theory is just, you know, I always watch movies with my dad. Right. Yeah. And at the end, he would always ask me like oh, what I thought of it. And we'd go through it. He tried to add that context. Right. That we were uh -huh. talking about earlier. Yeah. And it's funny because, uh, you know, I was just talking about it with my dad the other day or like a few weeks ago. But we were talking about uh how I saw the, the movies like Karate Kid and how I saw movies like Star Wars yeah. and, and the trilogy and, and whatever. And my dad was telling me how it was funny because, you know, we finished the trilogy and he asked me, oh, who's the bad guy in Star Wars? Who's the good guy? And I was like, well, the good guy's Darth Vader, right? Like yeah. I, I thought I thought Vader was the hero of the story. Mm -hmm. I thought Luke was the vessel for that heroic act, but I thought... I thought Vader was the chosen one. I thought that's what, it, what I never thought. I didn't think Luke was. You yeah. know what I mean? I thought Vader was. And even when I played with my friends, I wanted to be Vader. I was mm -hmm. always like, oh, I'm Vader. I'm Vader. Yeah. Like, I'm, <laughs> I always wanted, and no one wanted to be Vader. They all wanted to be Luke or Han Solo. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, don't, dude, I want to be Vader. I'm Vader's the hero. He's the <laughs> chosen one, you know? And same thing with Karate Kid. You know, my dad thought that was funny. He thought it was hilarious that I loved Vader almost <laughs> immediately. And not Luke. I mean, I love Luke too, but that Vader's my guy, right? And then when we saw Karate Kid, same thing. He showed it to me because I used to do point, point, uh, fighting point mm -hmm. uh, with uh, Taekwondo, but it was it was more point competitions. Yeah. And so, it, you know, it, you don't get into like full contact till later. You know, yeah. You're, you're all padded up and stuff, which is why I switched to different arts that were a little bit more. Uh, not as McDojo as yeah. like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, but you know, that movie is very much like how you do point fighting. Right. So, so it was like my movie. I could relate to it. I had yeah. been to tournaments like that. So when I saw that movie, I was like, what? This is me. This is, I'm the karate kid. <laughs> my name is Daniel. Daniel son. Yeah, I'm Daniel son. <laughs> After that, like my whole family, my cousins would always call me Daniel son, you know? Yeah. And I would always tell them like, I'm Johnny, dude. <laughs> I'm Johnny. <laughs> Daniel sucks. Yeah, Daniel's. <laughs> and I didn't think Daniel sucks, right? Yeah. I, I, I was cheering for him in the end of the movie. Oh, yeah. Right? I, yeah. I love that moment, you know? Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, Daniel's cool. Yeah. But... After the movie, my my dad asked me, you know, he's like, hey, like, it's same thing like he does with every movie. He's like, so what did you think about that? And I was like, I like Daniel, you know, th that's cool. You know, he won or whatever. Like, <laughs> I I kind of think he's like, kind of a jerk. <laughs> and he's like, really? And I was like, yeah. I kind of relate a little bit more to Johnny, you know, because I have teachers that are a little more aggressive than yeah. that. I don't really have the Miyagi's. Like, yeah. My dad was probably a mix of like Miyagi and um, uh, freaking, uh, what's his what, name? What, uh, Crease? Crease, yeah. yeah. He was like a mix of both, mm -hmm. right? Because he's very obsessed with the art and the culture of martial arts, right? And he wasn't like disrespectful like that. But he also had those moments, you know, because I was into competitions you know there was also that reality of like hey I, i'm trying to win here and if i don't win it's not only that i lose i can also get hurt right yeah like you're getting kicked in the face you're, yeah. you know you can get hurt and so you know it's it's also serious like hey we are down to bow in this and that but that's not the priority here the priority here is you need to hurt somebody 
the game is basically a violent game of tag. I touch you mm-hmm. more than you touch me. Mm-hmm. And when I touch you, it has to hurt a lot more yeah. than when you touch me, right? Very simple game. So at the same time, my bro- my dad, at least as a, as, a, as a teacher of mine when it came to martial arts, had a little bit of both. You know, he had, the, hey, let's respect the culture. This is this is where we come from. This is what we're learning. The ancient art of this, um, but at the same time, w- if it comes down to bowing or kicking someone in the face, you kick someone in the face. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> when it comes down to bowing or headbutting somebody in a real life situation, you headbutt somebody. Mm-hmm. You don't bow. It's not it's not about that. So he was very much of both. But that's why I related more to Johnny, where it's like we're blaming Johnny. For the way that Crease is, you know what I mean. I, I yeah. felt like I felt like Johnny was just kind of like a, a, like you know, like, like like I'm saying, like my dad was like an aggressive teacher to a certain point in certain things when it came to winning like that and came to combat. Obviously, we respected the culture and stuff like that, but I was just a product of that. I was just his student, his apprentice, quote unquote, right? So, so am I really? A, I'm just trying to make my own way. I felt like Johnny was just trying to make his own way. Mm-hmm. He, he just wanted to win. Yeah. Just just like all of us martial artists, you know, I, I think martial artists are, are are a mixture of a fighter, a martial artist, and an athlete, and they all kind of vary to certain degrees yeah. and percentages of what that that mix is, right? Some of us are more fighters than martial artists. Some yeah. of us are more athletes than martial artists. Some of us are more martial artists than fighters, right? And so, you know, you want to have a balance of all three of those things, right? But I think, I think Johnny just had a little bit more fighter in him. But that only angered the wrong guy. You know, definitely. Gotta be nuts. And his troubles really began. Yeah, yeah. He, he was definitely more of the the fighter between the right. two, and and to kind of speak on the the Daniel side of it, of I course, guess, is that yeah, yeah. since the film is, I mean, I, I that theory is hilarious. You know, yeah. even before Cobra Kai came out, I always yeah. thought it was really funny. But um, I love the film because of the story of Daniel, of course, because you know it's one of those those arcs that's very. It came out during the time of during the eighties, obviously. Mm. But you know, we had a lot of characters like that. Obviously, it was Luke Sky. Skywalker and Daniel Russo, pretty much. You know, they're they're kind of figures of the '80s hero. You know, True. except I think Daniel actually in this film, at least, mm-hmm. I think he actually has a little bit more going on with him than Luke did in like A New Hope. You know, if we're yeah. looking at him as a character, because he's got his first of all, he's got that temper. You yeah. know, which. I can relate to. Have I mean? Right. I think that's why it's easy for like fans of Johnny to be like, well. Like Daniel was the the aggressive because he's aggressive for sure. Not but, only not yeah, only is he yeah. aggressive, but but I uh, the reason why I, I want to say it's not so much that I mean yes he was aggressive and mm-hmm. I could kind of relate to that. Where yeah, I kind of had to temper that as a kid too. You know what I mean? Yeah. But for me, the reason why I I like Johnny a little bit more than Daniel is because I just thought Daniel was like inserting himself. Do you know what I mean? Like, like what? Like okay, I have problems with my girl, my yeah. girlfriend, and then now this this like jackass is like in it like, <laughs> but they were broken up yeah i know but like dude i, I wasn't broken see, up with her <laughs> no but i mean i mean he's clearly you clearly see that something's going on between this dude and this girl and yeah, then you're like yeah. gonna get in it here i mean if if he if johnny was smacking her around go beat him up you know what sure, i mean go yeah. beat him up but like they're having a tiff and then you come in well, like he grabs like, the radio syrup. and like all hard and shit and like throws it in front of her like breaks her fucking radio and everything did he break it yeah yeah oh, he's he like did. broke oh. it and everything oh shoot yeah i guess i guess yeah that's kind of <laughs> no that's true because then you, then hey what's going on bro like, yeah like, yeah calm down. yeah i guess i guess you're right i guess you're right, I guess you're like right. but i i, I did kind of think like like wait what are you doing get out of <laughs> get out of this yeah. i mean maybe stand by right yeah maybe like stand right there but right away he's like oh this dude's having trouble with his girlfriend. Well, like, he, he all hey. he does is just pick up the radio. Does he really? Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure he p- he picks it up, and then Johnny like smacks it again out of his hand and shit. Because because he does see he's probably thinking that he's like, yeah. what the fuck Who are you are doing? You? Yeah. Who are you? Who are you? you know? I'm arguing with my girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Like, what yeah, are you doing, dude? <laughs> but that's what I'm trying to say. Is like. I, and I get it. I get it. Yeah. You're kids, so like that line is yeah. gonna be mis- like, "Hey, when do you step in? When do you not step in?" Yeah. You know. 
So I get that. I'm not. I'm not arguing against it. Sure. I, I you know. And again, I'm not <laughs> die hard like, hey, Johnny was the good guy. Mm-hmm. I just think he he was just trying to make his own way, and he's a little angry. I wouldn't recommend that. That's how you act in relationships. Yeah. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> I just think like as another dude too, like, hey, you you gotta you gotta really time that stepping in correctly. You know, like you don't want to. Someone's like, yeah. hey, like. No, I don't want to go eat there. Like, hey, oh, I don't want to go. And some dude's like, hey, man, why don't you just listen to the chick here, dude? I'd be like, bro, wait, what, are you, what are you? Who are you? Like, what are you talking about? You know what I mean? I, I start, you know, you start shaking around some chick. Then, yeah, yeah you got to step in and be like, hey, dude, like, stop, bro. Stop. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what, what, calm down. Like, what, hey, that's. Well, what, the, the that's, movie really depicts uh, bullying in an interesting way mm-hmm. where, you know, like they're bu- like the Cobra Kai's are bullying someone who's going to give it back to them. Yeah. Which I really like. You know, I like that Daniel is he's well for one thing he's from Jersey so he's like yeah. I, you're, you're not going to fuck with me. Yeah, you know, yeah. he, he he'll get the shit kicked out of him but yeah. he's like he's tough, you know, yeah, which yeah. I really dig about him. No, it, it's and, part of it. Yeah. It's part of it and yeah. uh, I love that they kind of they depict his frustration really well. Yeah. You know, like how he's just feels trapped. He's in a new uh, space. He's in new land and everything. Yeah. And he doesn't know anyone. It, like those guys he was hanging out with that night yeah. just uh, <laughs> left him in the sand. Right, and right, just, right. So he's really on his own. Right. And then he finds Mr. Miyagi and everything. Yeah. And they be like this old dude who's who's like a war veteran and everything. Mm-hmm. I just I just really love I just love everything about no, the it's, original it's film. It's amazing. It's yeah, amazing. it's really good. It's it's so like good. film. You know? And the way it ends is great. And yeah, I, I love that movie. I love that whole trilogy. I love I love Karate Kid. Yeah, you know, um, <laughs> it gets pretty <laughs> ridiculous. After, I don't count next Karate Kid or you know the other ones, but. I mean, you well, have to count them. Yeah, you yeah, have, yeah, to, you have to at count this them, point. But, but yeah. the, I think the third one is just a straight up cartoon at that point. Yeah. I actually really love the second film. No, that yeah. one. That one's the best one. Yeah, I think that That's might the be best the best one. one yeah, dude. for that sure, one it's the best one. Great, man. come on. You know That's where the they best go to one. Japan and everything. The yeah, last we saved the girl there. from the, the hurricane. The yeah, and, and, well, in the the final battle, final battles ridiculous. Like get out of here. <laughs> no, that 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 one's my favorite one. Yeah, mine for too. Sure, hands mine too. Down, where they all start doing the the drum. Oh, thing. the drumming. Oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah. Get out of here, dude. He found a teacher. I promise, teach karate and a friend. Fighting all his best answer. How did you do that? Don't know. First time. Now, the, what what did you think of like seeing Mr. Miyagi? As you know, he's he's like the the wise old guy and everything, yeah. but he's also like taking part in the the action, you know, when he needs to and everything. Right, right, it's right. kind of like a proto Yoda in the prequels, yeah. Because we always heard in the originals how Yoda was this badass and everything, mm-hmm. but then we see it in the prequels. But Karate Kid kind of beats him to it, where yeah. they show him in action, in action. Yeah, you know, yeah. how, how, what was what, what did you think about that? Well, type so of stuff? again, when we're talking about like we were talking earlier about adding context to these type of films, and it, Karate Kid kind of hit home because, like I said, like I'd put on a gi and I'd go to tournaments and I'd try to win, you know, and. You know, and I would get kind of both versions. Like sometimes I'd look over because my dad's in my corner. He's like, you know, part a part my part of my trainer, one of my trainers, right? Because you have different trainers, right? But mm-hmm. my dad was one of my trainers, so you look over to the corner to like get advice, or you you go to the corner and he's he's giving you advice, and either like I didn't know what I was gonna get because I sometimes I'd get the crease, sometimes yeah. I'd get crease, yeah. sometimes my dad would be crease. Yeah. What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Are you serious? Like, th- th- what are you doing? What's going on? And, you know, do this. Keep your hands up. You know what I mean? Go in and out. What? Where are you just standing there? There's no effort here. Yeah, I get the crease. But other times, I would just get the Miyagi. Where, yeah. you you know, you look over and all he does is just head nod to you. And so I, and you I didn't get it. know. And you just get it yeah, right yeah. away. You know what I mean? And so it's it, I got both of them, right? Yeah. And then that being said, that even taken further, um, the first time I saw my dad get down, I was pretty young, right? And it was a, a neighbor was getting robbed, right? Mm-hmm. And as this, this dude was getting robbed, we had already called the police because we realized our neighbor was getting robbed. We were very close to the family next door. We lived in a complex and our apartment was the first to the street yeah and we were right next to the house like our windows our doors were like right next to the house that was next door to the complex 
and we were very close to that family like we we're family friends right so we hear some commotion going on in the house next door i guess my dad wakes up he sees it we kind of fought me and my brother kind of follow downstairs and we see my mom looking out the kitchen and we look outside in the driveway and my dad confronts this guy who had been robbing the neighbor's house you know damn yeah i know wow. and yeah and i we were like i i was in shock you get scared because yeah. you're you know i'm a kid i've never seen i've seen this in movies but i've, I've you know i've never i have read it in comics but I don't know what the, like yeah. and then your dad's stepping in and you've never seen that before like I've seen him spar and fight people in in a, in a gym setting but we're all there to practice you know what I mean like this guy's not trying to kill him this guy, we're all friends afterwards yeah, you know yeah. what I mean like we're all just training partners yeah and you're you're all so there to learn to learn about right? you know yeah no one's trying to kill my yeah, dad yeah yeah you're not training not to trying take to people kill out somebody else yeah <laughs> yeah but this was a, a moment of intensity mm -hmm. where I was like I kind of didn't know what to expect the dude rushes my dad and my dad starts tossing him like just Damn. flipping him without hurting like he's hurting yeah, him yeah. in the throwing but he's not like he's not beating like, him up yeah right yeah he's, and he's defensive he's defensive yeah. and he keeps telling him hey man like i can hurt you like please stop it's real miyagi shit. Yeah. yeah and then he kept rushing him and then my dad would flip him or yeah. turn him or like hurt him and then you know it, it, but not beat him up not mm -hmm. like really beat him up i love that everything you kind of talked about is it the essence of that is balance right you know right, 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 which right. is what these movies kind of and the shows and everything mm -hmm, kind of mm -hmm. emphasizes how do. how hard it is to achieve but how essential right. at the same time right, it right, is, right, right. you know and um I, I like that daniel kind of also falters a bit with that yeah you know, he's always like yeah kind of failing you know but that's just because it's it's human you know human to at least struggle to get it you know and, and was, except Miyagi, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and and I think I think the element of that of what you're talking about, if we examine each character from the Karate Kid, yeah, I think um, what happens is how many how 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 much emotion do the characters allow to affect them? So like yeah. Johnny gets emotional because hey, who are you? Hey, where are you getting my girl? What are uh -huh. you doing this? So he gets emotional. So that balance is not achieved, right? Yeah. We see Daniel have temperaments where he starts bullying Johnny. He, he gets back at Johnny. <laughs> yeah. His emotion gets the best of him. Mm -hmm. Or he doesn't want to train. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like he gets emotional. Yeah. He gets mad at Miyagi or whatever. So he even he's affected by emotion. You know what I mean? The only one that wasn't was Miyagi the whole time just mm -hmm. existed as himself from the beginning to the end. Yeah. Right? Crease affected by emotion. Right? He gets angry. Angry is an emotion. And I'm not saying not to have emotion. You should just use them as markers to add context for your reality, but you, they shouldn't be like kind of like uh, they shouldn't be steering the ship. You know? What yeah. I mean? With with Miyagi, he he also went through really he he had trauma right. that I think helped kind of uh, give him a point of reference for his emotion, like how I to agree. deal with it. I agree. You know, like I there's that scene where he's like getting drunk on the birth. Uh, oh, that's right. I, I that's don't know right. if it's a it's, it's a it's not a birthday, but it's like the anniversary of I think the death of mm -hmm. his wife. Mm. Um, I think his wife was also pregnant as well. Oh, wow. Mm. Um, so, you know, he's all obviously carrying a lot with him. Right. And it, that's where you kind of get to see that human side of him where he does. He's also led by emotion, but he he has those lessons from he's the martial artist in what you're talking about. Right. Yeah. And uh, I, I love that that kind of he implements that. Yeah. And you, you know? see that even when he fights Kreese. At yeah. The end, yeah. Right. Yeah, he fight, with, with the mercy and everything again, yeah. and that that's something that I saw my dad right. Even though the, the I, I I saw my dad as you know a, a kind of like aggressive, he had a chance here in a real life setting to really demolish this dude. Yeah, but he just kind of he miyagied him. He like he showed that he could beat him. Mm -hmm. Very calm the entire time. You know what I mean? I thought my dad would take the role of crease in that moment. You know, but he didn't, and it was kind of like a like. Oh man, my dad is actually what he's talking about. Like yeah. he's he's serious about yeah. it. He doesn't just say it and then when it comes time he's like an emotional angry guy. He can have his moments where he gets angry, but in this real life life and death situation, yeah. he's remaining calm and yeah. he's winning and he's not like aggressively beating him up like the Hulk or anything like that. He's yeah. like he's he's more a Miyagi and I was kind of like, "Oh shoot, what the heck?" And when I asked my dad about that, he's like, "It's just repetition." I'm, I, I do it every day with a different sparring partner. 
So I just looked at this guy as a sparring partner, you know, and it just, mm-hmm. the stakes are a little bit higher because we're yeah. not wearing pads. We're not wearing mouth guards. We're on concrete. I have my family behind me. This is my house. So there's a, there's a, the stakes are higher, but if you just kind of relate it to like, Hey, I've been here before you can be calm. You know what I mean? And, and then from there you can make decisions. Right. So I love that. Yeah. You, you know, like in those moments it, it, they're based on instinct. Instinct. So right, you're right, right, really right. seeing the person for who they that's are. That's what I'm saying. At that point, you that's know? what so I'm saying about. It's that's, crazy that you went through that. Yeah, and, <laughs> and and that's what I'm trying to say about seeing what you're made of, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of people, again, if you've never been choked, how do you know when to tap? Mm-hmm. I know when to tap. I've been choked, so I know how much I can take. If you're choking out my neck, I know how much I can take. I've always wanted to throw a low kick, and okay. someone and someone check that low kick. Oh, like, like <laughs> parry it? Yeah, like, yeah, well, there's a, so in Muay Thai, there's, you know, you, you check your leg kicks, mm-hmm. and all you do is you take your leg out, and you let the shin hit your shin, right? You kind of, like, block it with your shin, and I've always wanted, like, that to happen, and then look at the dude, and the dude is in his Muay Thai stance, and I'm just like, <laughs> oh, yeah, like, this is it, this is... The day that happens. This, and it still hasn't happened, it's The never, day that happens is gonna be the best day ever. Ever, right? And it's it's still, it's it's it still hasn't happened to me. I heard a story once on the LA freeway, on, on huh. uh, the 110, where these, and again, I just heard this story, right? Okay. But these dudes had road rage, right? And they, I guess they were getting into it on the 110, they pull over... They start rolling. Wow. They start fighting. They realize as they're fighting, they're doing jujitsu on each other, and they can't <laughs> and they can't win. Like they're rolling around, and they and then they were, they kind of like realize in the rolling, they're like, "Wait, you know jujitsu?" It's like, "Yeah, I know jujitsu. You know jujitsu too." <laughs> they become homies after that, and it's like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> yeah that's literally daniel versus johnny yeah you know what i mean it's like hey like wait you know how to do this like yeah i train all the time oh what hey like, you want to get a beer yeah let's, let's train what are we doing you know what i mean <laughs> there's like cool. a whole pile up on the freeway that's what i'm saying like you you put someone in a clinch and then they like get out and they're in the muay thai sense oh man that's i'd ridiculous. be like wow this is cool <laughs> one of my own you know what i mean like